Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Guru and Goranga. Jai Prabhupada, Jai Gurudev. On chanting Hare Krishna, this is a pamphlet that I give out to a lot of people, man. You know, I'm always, I'm giving out Spanish, I'm giving out English, because I'm always getting into conversations. People are very curious in this age about Krishna consciousness and things like that. So because people are, you know, curious and plus wherever I go, whenever I'm on the subway or the bus, whatever, I chant my rounds. I don't care who's in air shot. I don't care who's scared or who's offended. It's none of my business. I got to chant. I got to do my rounds. So in the process of doing my rounds, sometimes I chant audibly loud. You see, when a person is chanting Hare Krishna, they are benefiting themselves. They are benefiting their soul. But when you chant Hare Krishna audibly, it also benefits whoever is within air shot, whether it's an ant, a molecular life form, it could be a life form that's etheric, it could be a life form that's living in the fire, or the water, or the dirt, you know what I'm saying, all five elements, all eight elements are affected because this, it's an active from the spiritual plane. So, we have a beautiful pamphlet called On Chanting Hare Krishna. And it explains what the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is all about. I recommend everyone on the planet Earth to read this. All six continents and the few researchers who are living on the seventh continent of Antarctica. I want everybody to read this pamphlet. It'll give you a preliminary introduction as to why this Maha Mantra is so important. And with that said, I would like to give all glory to Srila Prabhupada. Because if it wasn't for Srila Prabhupada, I would not have been attracted to Gaudiya Vaishnavism. I would not be attracted to the Krishna service. I would not be attracted to none of this stuff. It was Srila Prabhupada who had the Shakti. Alright, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. And what did Srila Prabhupada do? He inst instituted 108 temples around the world. He didn't just have this in... Harlem or Brooklyn. He didn't just have it on Fifth Avenue or Park Avenue. He didn't just have it in Park Slope. He has this movement rocking all around the planet because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked the people of India to go ahead and spread this Bhagavata Dharma. This good news of the kingdom was supposed to be spread throughout the whole world. And the people of India, because they are born with a leg up, so to speak. What do we mean by India? Are they better than, oh, you're just saying Indians are better than me? Not at all. The atmosphere of India is very good for self-realization. But the atmosphere for the planet Earth generally is good for self-realization. And Srila Prabhupada himself said that. The atmosphere on this planet is good for self-realization, particularly in India. So the people in India have a job to spread self-realization. But what are the people of India? They're ashamed of their own culture. They're ashamed of the things, the ancient Vedic literature. They let the British lie up to them and fool fool up their head. And now they believe that anything Indian is mythology. And these people like Krishna is just heroes or at best they're angels. But they're not really the supreme lord. You see, people of India would rather eat at McDonald's than get some free Maha Prashad at the local temple. They want to be more European than the Europeans. What do I mean? Well, the Europeans, my brothers and sisters from Europe, they out there doing their thing. They out there going through the streets, chanting Hare Krishna. They're distributing Srila Prabhupada's books. They're distributing Prashad. They're teaching these divine lessons. Now, this pamphlet was made by the Bhakti Vedanta Book Trust, if I'm not mistaken. Well, anyway, somebody in, it says, printed in India in 2013. So, this is from the acknowledgement inside the book, 1968 Teachings of Lord Chaitanya, signed by the founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta, Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. It's a reproduction of the booklet, I don't know if you can see it, but it was first published by the ISKCON Press in 1968. So, we have some people who in 1968 printed this pamphlet. Now, in 1968, when Srila Prabhupada arrived over here in America, in the West, like a thief in the night, like I always mention, 
these were the people who primarily he was ministering to because those were the people who were suffering. You know, when you got a doctor's office, man, the sick people come to the doctor's office first, man. Let's just keep it 100, all right? Black people was involved in a civil rights struggle, which we still are involved in a civil rights struggle, and I'll be dealing with that subject later. I'm not going to deal with it right now, because right now people are angry over a non-verdict, and they're not seeing the power and the unity that's been displayed of late, that, that black people in the West have the power to change the world, that black people are actually the stone that the builders rejected. And the stone that the builders rejected shall become the cornerstones. So I'm in no rush to deal with the black situation. I'm in a black body. I'm under attack. My son is under attack. My family's under attack. But do I have time to be angry? No, because that's going to cloud my thought. And anything I do for the black people on this planet Earth, the rejected, the disenfranchised people, is going to be beyond a sense of bodily love because I love brown skin and black skin. No. Because I love black people, the black soul? No, because everything has a soul. Everything that's alive is a living entity has a soul. We just express it differently. So it's none, none of these things. I do what I do because it's a sense of duty. If you got the message from the Bhagavad Gita and Arjuna and what he was going through with Krishna on that battlefield, he didn't want to kill people because they was his family. They was his teachers and stuff like that. Everything was bodily concept for Arjuna. And Krishna was like, no, 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 no. This ain't about the bodily concept. As a matter of fact, this war came to you without you asking for it. And even in Islam, they'll teach that if you die in the path of Allah, you attain the celestial abodes. It didn't say the spiritual abodes. It says the heavenly planets. Well, the same teaching is there in Sanatan Dharma. That if a war comes to you and you fight and you do your duty and you die in the course of that war, well, you've done your duty and you obtain the upper planetary system like Swarga Loka, Satya Loka, like stuff just, just unimaginable, but it's real and you can study and research on it. So anything I do for the black race or any other race on this planet is a sense of duty. And that's what people are missing out on, duty. Like I said, the Indians is running around trying to open up McDonald's. They ain't trying to spread, they ain't trying to teach you about no Lord Jagannath. Who is Lord Jagannath to them? It's mythology to them. They're not trying to teach you about Narsringha Bhagawan. They're not trying to teach you about Prahlad, Bhakta Prahlad. They don't care about that. They want American salary. They want American salary, these Indian people. It's very unfortunate because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked him, he begged the people of India. He didn't ask nobody from Bengal or Bangladesh. Bangladesh, they coming over here opening up. Coffee shops and, 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 and Burger Kings, they, I mean, they got their own mafia now, you know, 7-Eleven, um, Subways, um, Dunkin' Donuts, that's what the Bangladeshis are doing. People from Bengal, I don't know what they up to, I don't know, but I feel sorry for them because when you miss your calling, you're going to be out there in the ocean with no boat. So going back to this magazine, I just like to say that everyone, this is the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, everyone is welcome here. When Srila Prabhupada arrived here, there was a lot of hippies in that park, people getting drunk and climbing up in trees, having sex in trees, defecating in trees. This is below the level of just a plain old outsider or barbarian or Yavana and Malecha. This is like in subhuman standards these hippies was on. So Srila Prabhupada cleaned them up and hence these pictures. But their Bhakti Vedanta book trust is now 2014 going into 2015, the year of the Lamb. Where is the variety in this movement? It's there. It's devotees in Africa. It's devotees in Europe, it's devotees in South America. Why are they not being represented in your literatures? Let's make this stuff a little more brown. This is not a monoculture, my brother. This is not a European culture. This is not a monoculture. This is, you know what happens when you plant a monoculture of trees? Okay, if you have trees on your block, in New York City we have a lot of London plane trees. London plane spelled P-L-A-N-E. These trees, if they get a disease, because I have so many London plane trees on my block, all of the trees on my block will be decimated. Because that's a monoculture. If sickle cell only affects black people, and somebody creates a sickle cell bomb, that means the monoculture of black people will be destroyed by sickle cell or Ebola, as is seen in recent news. 
Jews also have a monoculture. That's why they all wear glasses because they interbreed with each other. They keep that money in the family. I don't care who's offended. I don't, this is not about that. This is about releasing the facts. I don't care. The Jews all marry each other, especially the Hasidic Jews. And that's why all of them look the same and they all wear glasses. Because they have the same eye disease, just like so many black people have sickle cell trait. So, once again, monoculture is BS, man. Y'all got to clean up your act. And this is not clean. Because a vice novel is never to be judged on their bodily standards. So if you just want to make this a monoculture of, let's just say, just white people or just Indian people, then you, my friend, are in error. There are 400,000 species of humans in this particular cosmos. There are 8 million other living species in this particular cosmos. And it is our job and it is our duty specifically for the human form of life to raise them up. Krishna never gave any guidelines to say this is for this race and this treatment is for that race. He never gave us that. Krishna says whoever is a friend to me, I am a friend to them. So it could be a black person, a white person, a yellow person, a red person, or whatever they got these new colors out now, Moth. They got a new color out coming, the fashionistas, they got a new color. It looks like maroon. I just saw it on Fox 5 this morning. It looks like a maroonish color. Anyway, the new style is going to be some reddish color. Last year was like high orchid. They got these, these silly colors, man. It doesn't matter the color. It doesn't matter the racial background. When we going to get this together? It's too much foolishness. And Krishna consciousness is supposed to lead the way, man. This ain't no monoculture. So I beg you to update your pictures. You know, you want we want some Asians to come to the temple. We want some blacks to come to the temple. Well, I do. I don't care what you want and what you don't want. What you want and what you don't want, you need to take that up with Krishna. Because Krishna's the boss here. But I have my own desire. I have a desire to see disenfranchised people start to come up. I have a desire to see disenfranchised people not get strangled to death by the police and shot to death by the police. And I have a desire that idiots keep their mouth shut when they don't understand certain subjects and things that's going on on this planet. If you're an idiot, keep your mouth shut. Because you can never understand what a man is going through if you never walked a mile in his shoes. You can't understand the black situation. It's unfortunate, but you can't. You have benefited for so long off of these different forms of privilege. I at least beg you, man. Yo, update these pictures. Like, what's good? What's, what message are you sending? It's 2015. What message are you sending? This is not your culture. You don't own this. This is Krishna's culture. It's for all. It's inheritance for all of the human children on the planet Earth. Update. Get this thing right. Because it's not going to be this way. This culture is about to go through a drastic change. This planet is about to go through a drastic change. You can see the air marks in society. It's change going to come. I was born by the river <laughs> in a little tent. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Just like the river, I've been running ever since. But it's a long time coming and the change is coming. 2015, significant year. That's the year he got off the boat. 2015, 50 years to the day. And it also happens to be the year of the lamb in Chinese Zodiac. So some significant sacrifices are taking place next year. And what is the main sacrifice we are to engage in in this age? It's called Harinam Sankirtan Yagna. And it goes Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare He taught me those syllables. You understand? It's 
stop owning what don't belong to you. Own your service. We serve the same Supreme Lord, Krishna. Own up to your service. Get off the BS. Krishna is a friend to those who are a friend to him. And he is desperate and anxious to be controlled by love and devotion. Not racism or idealism or speculation. Haribo, Thunderbat Pranam.